Hello and welcome to today's very quick video. I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of go through Unity's uh, templates because I've seen a bit of discourse about how Unity doesn't have like a great 3D controller or first person controller kind of out of the box. This is usually brought up when in comparison to Unreal Engine 4, for example. If you've used Unreal Engine, you'd know that you can get a first person shooter template kind of just by default or a third person template by default. And I don't know if this is kind of, you know, well known or people are just kind of ignoring them for some reason. But if you use the new Unity Hub version 3, uh, 3 point whatever higher, um, or, or if you're using an older version of the Unity Hub, uh, you can come over to the Unity Asset Store and these are provided by Unity themselves. Um, it's a starter assets first person controller and there's a third person controller as well and you, you'll even notice it's set up for mobile here with sprinting and jumping and that's the same for the character control and you can see you know there's uh, easily modified stuff here um, but i'm just going to do it through the unity hub because i really like the unity hub obviously it's it's got all of your projects and all of these templates for you with the new Unity Hub, you can see that we've got our projects here. Let's just click new project and this will bring us over here. And then depending on which editor version you're using, uh, these templates will change based on the supported editor version. So if we jump over to um, 2021, you can see there's less uh, in the list, but you can see they break them up into core, sample and learning. And I'll go back over to 2020. With 2020, you can get the 2D or 3D core, which uses the normal built-in render, and it says that over here. If you click read more on any of these templates, it'll show you a little bit more information and kind of what packages it comes with installed already. In the case of this one, there's no associated packages. If you go down to the HDRP or URP um, packages, you know, it, this comes with Cinemachine, the new input system, and the high def render pipeline. If you go to the URP sample scene, this just comes with the universal render pipeline. And then we get to the third person and first person core. Um, and these are all of the kind of core built-in templates. And then we've got our learning templates here, as well as some mobile templates. Um, so I'm gonna choose the first person core package. And if we look at read more here, you can see this uses uh, URP and on packages, this comes with Cinemachine, uh, the Rider Editor, Input System, URP, Text Mesh Pro, and Unity UI. These are all packages that I would, you know, I'd start up a new URP project, then I'd install the new input system, I'd install Cinemachine. Like, so it's just good that these come out of the box as well. So it, it kind of removes that, that slowdown at the start where you want to just uh, get up and running with a package, but you've got to install all of these new, you know, all of these packages that you get every single time. And the third person one is the same, uses URP and it comes with all of those packages. And now if we go into the first person um, template and let's make a new project just to see what that's like. So you can see here we are in the new project. Um, it took a little bit of a while to open up. It stops up with a bit of information in the readme and gives you a little bit more kind of info. For example, it's using the Unity's character controller component. And if we hit play, you can see that here we are as a little capsule and we're running around in first person. We can hold down shift to sprint quicker. Jump in is already set up and included. And then from here, you can build up from, from this point. For example, here's a bit of footage of me making like a slime rancher kind of prototype. Um, and I've done stuff using the third person template as well. For example, this photo mode video. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a little bit of a kind of spotlight on these starter assets because they're a really good way of just getting set up and going and so you can focus on your own gameplay because you don't want to have to set up a first person controller every single time you want to make a new first person like prototype. Um, and it comes with a nice little uh, test level to test out all of your kind of locomotion uh, stuff. And again, if we go over to the player capsule, you can see the scripts has got a load of exposed um, methods. For example, you can clamp the cinema machines. you can change when a player is grounded, the move speed, sprint speed, rotation speed, so you can customize this to get it feeling exactly kind of how you want it to feel, and then you just can go from there. 
And it's also a good way of getting used to the new input system. So you can see how they've done stuff. So it's got the player input script. There's a starter assets inputs script here. So you can read through all of that code and kind of see how it's all working. And then that will allow you to really hit the ground running with your project. So I hope this video was useful at highlighting these kind of packages. If it was, it'd be great if you could like the video and leave a comment, let me know. If it wasn't, comment that I'm a stupid dum-dum and you already knew about this. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.